Alright, let's see what we got. Here's the demolisher. Here's a rampage with the drum and a buttstock for a. I don't think it goes with that, but. And a raider. 295. Some old school Good stuff in here. Another Maverick. And another Maverick. And another Cyclone Shock. It's a higher price today. Here's a Duminator, but it doesn't have the handle this time. Another Cyclone Shock. The prices are higher on them now. Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So today I've got a Goodwill pickup of some original Nintendo NES I want to show you for my collection and some for resale. We'll sort through that and then I got my Friday thrift store pickups. Pretty good stuff, so we'll check that out as well. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Okay, so I went in on some Goodwill auctions for original Nintendo, which is something that I'm a big fan of. I So when, ten, when original Nintendo got mega popular, I was old enough to be uh, like a little fanatic about that stuff. So uh, I got... Uh, I won two lots. Turns out it looks like they came from the same collection. They just, I, I, I hate how thrift store or, you know, auctions do that. They break it up. Why can't they just do one big awesome lot, you know? But, uh, so first off from the two lots, uh, there was about 10 dust sleeves that I got to clean up that I'll be adding. You know, I, uh, the ones that have the Nintendo official, uh, logo on them, I usually resell those because they get, uh, decent cash. They get more cash than the, uh, the non, well, let me show you. So the regular ones, or the, the non-Nintendo logo ones, still are worth something, but these are the ones that people like to you know, collect all these. So I sell these and I use these for my collection because I really don't care about these too much. All right, stack number one uh, was the cheaper one uh, because there's not a super uncommon game in there like one of them I'm going to show you, the very last game I'm going to show you. So stay tuned. <laughs> so we got uh, Paperboy. One thing I notice about these games, they all have a lot of dust on them. Uh, they're they're in good condition other than the dust. So once I successfully clean the dust, uh, I think uh, the ones that I decide to keep here uh, for my collection are going to be nice additions to my collection. So we got Paperboy. This one, I think I needed this one from, for my collection, and it's a clean enough copy as far as label and and uh, cartridge condition goes for my collection. So I'll be adding that one. So whenever I say it's good enough for my collection, I mean the labels look nice enough they don't have any dings on them or anything like that and uh the cartridge and everything itself you know basically once i give it a proper cleaning it it looks you know uh, not like new but very good condition basically is what i'm looking for okay next we got rc program uh it's got a big label uh fold on it so that one's obviously not going in the collection i think i might already have that one anyways uh here's a kind of uncommon one one that was hyped up by path than nes punk uh just because they can't always talk about it joke about it it actually became like worth a little bit more money but it's danny sullivan's indie heat it's a little bit more of a later release title it's a little more uncommon not super uncommon though but this one's clean enough and i don't have it i'll be adding that to the collection a uh, very common one i didn't have in my collection maybe because i didn't uh, come across a clean enough copy and i think this one is is uh, star tropics classic uh nintendo's RPG to introduce to uh, the United States audience, so uh, it's kind of a dulled down RPG. Uh, Excite Bike, uh, we'll just be going to resale. I've already got that uh, as well. I think Tecmo Baseball, and as well as uh, John Elway's quarterback. All these have a big marker park on the back of them too. A lot of these do, so. That's the kind of marker that looks like it's not very easy to clean off. That looks uh, super permanent. Uh, you might have to use a magic eraser on that. Anyways, fortunately, these aren't a title I'm interested in. Uh, one I didn't have and looks in nice, clean condition is American Gladiators. So, so yeah, from the first lot, four uh, common kind of games for resale. And then uh, Paperboy with Danny Sullivan's Elite Indie Heat, Star Tropics, and American Gladiators are... Uh, some pretty decent titles that are going to go in my collection. So stack number two, uh, auction number two consists of one, two, three, six games. And there was an obvious, uh, fairly valuable game in it. Um, it was no secret. I 
based on what I paid for the auction, uh, people were definitely well aware, but I did win it. I won it to where with the games that came along with the game that's the most valuable, uh, it would, I did do better than eBay prices, we'll put it that way. Not like phenomenally better, but if I were reselling these, I could make a little bit of a profit, we'll put it that way, but I'm not gonna be reselling every one of them. But some of them I'll throw back and resell, obviously, because I already have them or they're just super common. Uh, so we'll get in with the common stuff. We got a Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, obviously resale copy. Uh, I can't remember if I had, I think I have a copy of the, the Tengen Pac-Man. So Tengen games were, they made unlicensed versions. Um, and then later these got licensed and looked like the regular cartridges. Uh, so we got Tengen Pac-Man. I think that might be a resale copy because I think I already got that one, a nice one. Uh, Super Mario 3, uh, the front of this looks like it's pretty good. I I have several copies of Super Mario, but I three, but I always they always have a label issue. So I'm looking for that pristine copy. This might be good enough to maybe take this back off of and find a cleaner back and get a, a copy of Super Mario 3. I'm gonna consider part of my collection. Then we've got Gotcha, probably just a resale copy. So the runner-up game, unfortunately it's really nice and clean, is uh, Batman Returns. Batman Returns is close to a $20 game, uh, about that by itself, and uh, this is a beat-em-up game, it's pretty fun. Uh, not the most famous beat-em-up on original NES, but uh, uh, glad to have it in the collection. I've had it in the collection before, but I sold it in the past. Uh, so add this one again, a nice clean copy of Batman Returns. Okay, so for the grand finale of the, the pickups, the Goodwill Auction, um, it's no secret that this game is, it's uncommon because it was a late release in original Nintendo's lifespan. And that is DuckTales 2. And this is a very nice copy. Uh, most of these times, these games are going to be very nice condition because they were, again, released late and probably not played a whole lot. And so, see if you can get that. Uh, the back looks great. Everything on it looks clean and pristine. Uh, so I paid a premium price for this stuff, but uh, I'm not disappointed because this is a very nice, clean c copy of DuckTales 2. This is about uh, this is about approximately about a hundred fifty dollar game. So it now becomes my most expensive uh, original Nintendo game currently. So yeah, add into my original Nintendo collection. That's going to put me over back over a hundred cart uh, you know different uh, clean cartridges, uh, clean titles that I. I consider part of my collection. So now let's get into some uh, eBay pickups. Got a couple interesting non-nerf things today. One of them is this uh, vintage Unisonic 21 Blackjack. It's a calculator slash blackjack game. They ended, there was no price on it. They ended up letting me buy it for $1.95. I just have to look this up. I It looked like it might be worth some money. Uh, I have to test it out. It takes three AAA batteries. Pretty interesting looking little thing. I haven't tested it, but uh, hopefully that works out and it'll be a cool little item. Then I picked up a pair of, I believe they're women's Keen uh, outdoor trail shoes. Uh, the boot, kind of like the up the higher ankle boot style. Keen is a pretty decent brand. Uh, usually they're valued pretty cheap and they sell for decent cash. I, I feel confident I could flip this for like a $30 sale pretty easily. Uh, they're in pretty nice condition and uh, yeah, I paid only five bucks, so I think I'll be okay with those. Okay, today I picked up some toys. Uh, bag was $4.99. What they are are VTech uh, smart cars, or smart wheels is what they're called. I've sold these before. Uh, it's kind of pricey. There are two, four, six, eight of them in there, and they all look like they're nice. And I do have one or two extra over here from, from previous stuff that I'm gonna add to it and see if I can make uh, uh, hopefully like a $30 sale again, but you know, it might be a little bit less. We'll see. Uh, when it comes to little kids toys, you know, parents are trying to get the absolute best rock bottom deal, you know, cause the kids don't care too much, you know, exactly what it is that they're getting. I think cause they're, this is for like little kids. Then I yet again, picked up one more phone bag, uh, $9.99 again, but this one looks like it has five handsets. It's a uh, Panasonic set looks like a pretty nice, pretty uh, newer model. Uh, so pick that up for $9.99. But uh, five handsets, you know, we'll say $2 uh, a complete handset with charging cradle. That's not too bad investment whenever I'm making $15 to $25 sales on them. 
Oh yeah, before I also before I get into my nerf stuff, uh I'll also mention that I, I did drop into Goodwill on the way home and found didn't find much, but I found two video games. Uh one of them is uh Mario Kart Wii. Uh, I think this is around a twenty dollar game. And this one was nice with the manual and it even had an extra Wii Sports disc in there. Uh, these games were $3 a piece, so Mario Kart Wii, nice copy. I think I can make about a $20 sale on that. And then uh, a little bit better one is The Warriors for PlayStation 2. I've sold this one before. This one's a little bit more of an uncommon title, I think. I think it's about a $25 game. So this one was complete with the manual as well, and the disc is nice. So yeah, The Warriors for PlayStation 2. Not bad pickups for about $3 a piece. Okay, now we'll get into the Nerf stuff I picked up today. Here's a pretty decent blaster, the Rampage. I think this buttstock actually is supposed to go with it. So it had its buttstock. This drum magazine, actually, when I think when they came out with the Rampage, they later came out with a different style of drum mag. But that's okay. It, just still, it was still fine that it was with it. Uh, $3.99. So uh, these are a little bit dated, but still not bad blasters to put into a lot. And then here is the Raider CS35, which was the, the one that I just showed you before that, the Rampage, it was the remake of this. Um, and the Raider did come with this kind of drum magazine. Uh, it originally didn't have a buttstock either, but I have another blaster. I'm going to take the buttstock off and I might sell the Rampage and the Raider together with two drum magazines and maybe a, a couple small pistols or something uh, and make a lot like that. This was $2.95. So... Uh, these are worth to buy, in my opinion, just for the drum magazines. Then for $2.95, there was a, a Demolisher 2-in-1. Uh, I put, I threw a magazine in there that I found off of another blaster that was undesirable. And it had this buttstock already attached to it, but I'm going to take it and put it on the uh, Raider. So. But uh, I like the Demolisher 2 one. I like picking up, picking it up, even though it almost never has, and it still doesn't have the uh, little rocket that's supposed to go here. Loose pistol blasters I picked up today. Um, there's one Maverick. It looks like it's functioning good enough. Uh, starting to, again to work towards building a party pack. I think I'll have two now, so I need eight more and make my second party pack. That first party pack went, went really well. Oh, and by the way, the the buyer of the party pack contacted me and said uh, they actually bought 10 more from another seller. So they're assembling a party pack of 20 and they wanted to know where I got the darts because they wanted to get the exact same darts. So I gave them the link to the eBay uh, where where I bought uh, the thousand Nerf darts. So if they wanted to get that, so it sounds like they're gonna have a major Nerf war at their house. <laughs> uh, then there were two uh, Mega uh, Cyclone shocks, but I noticed that they're starting to raise the price, or they raised the price on these two at least. They were two ninety nine instead of the normal one ninety nine. So they still they're nice and clean. I picked them up. I felt I almost considered passing on them just for over two dollars, but anyways, these sell pretty good in, in lots as well. Uh, last loose blaster was uh, this Dart Tag. I I don't know what it's called. I called it a Dart Tag 16. Uh, it has a built-in magazine that you can't remove. Uh, it was only a dollar ninety-nine, so I decided to pick it up, and it looks like it's it's uh, pretty clean. Um, the older style dart tag and yellow blasters, I kind of pass up most of the time, but this one I thought I would go for it since it was only $1.99. Then I have three Nerf bags here. Uh, one was $2.99. It was just some magazines, three magazines and uh, one of the uh, the speed reload clips. So that seems fine, a dollar a piece. You know, always can never get enough of these magazines. Then there was a $2.99 bag that has a dark, little dark tag pistol and a couple of zombie strikes. One called the side strike I've never had before and then a uh, hammer shot. So not bad for $2.99 I think. And then finally we have another $2.99 bag. Um, it has like this barrel that I think it goes to... I'm going to rip this one open real quick. Uh, this is like a very a pretty old style. Um, I think these two go together. Actually, this is like, you can switch out the chamber of it. Um, but this is just an old yellow one. I forgot what it's called. Oh, I'm sorry. It does say what it is. Switch shot. So that's what you can do. You can, uh, I think this unlocks. And then also in there were two uh, Nerf Rebels. I think these are called like Crush, something Crush. 
These are supposed to have like a, a bow, uh, you know, a crossbow piece that go on them. But I'm seeing people are selling these Nerf Rebels for decent cash. These right here were selling for like, I think over $10 for one. So I figured this is a $2.99 bag. I was going to pass on this bag at first, but then I started looking at these Nerf Rebel. So they're more of like a design for, obviously for like a feminine design. I mean, that is what I would say. Uh, I've heard people really like these, you know, Nerf collectors and stuff though. They must work really well. So I got two of those, so I thought I'd try those out. Okay, I had to refresh my uh, knowledge base on these blasters. I, I remember this now. Uh, this is called the Switch Shot EX3. These were all in a bag together. And I'm glad I, I was considering passing up on this bag. I'm glad I didn't. Um, not mainly because of these, but uh, this here is a switch shot. This is that made to switch out. You can switch out the barrel with and put in a Wii uh, controller instead. That's what it was for. Now I remember this. It's been a while. It's from 2008. Uh, you can get a couple of these together and you can make a pretty decent sale. So I'm just going to hang on to this one for now. And it had another barrel for whatever reason. But uh, anyways, and then these are Nerf uh, Pink Crushes the rebel series like i said like for girls basically feminine uh one thing i noticed i tested both these they fire very well they fire for these little single pist shot pistol blasters they fire very hard i think that's a reason why their people want them that's one of the reasons but i think this was an amazon exclusive and so i got two of them i saw two of them sold for 30 dollars, just like this they're supposed to have a uh, little like crossbow is just for looks uh, actually but a little crossbow piece that goes on the barrel end of the barrel but somebody sold these like this just like this without anything else exactly like i have it here for 30 dollars plus shipping so yeah it turned out this is a really good one to be on the lookout for um it's uncommon because i guess it was an amazon exclusive uh nerf rebel and this is called the pink crush uh, recently in a pickup i showed you i got these paw patrol figures i put them on auction for 15 dollars free shipping didn't sell um and then i've had these paw patrol walkie talkies and paw patrol vehicles listed together for a long time uh, that sale wasn't happening either so i ended both listings or didn't relist the the figures on auction ended the listing with the vehicles and walkie talkie and i'm going to combine them together and see if i can make um before I was trying to get 30 bucks for the lot with the vehicles and the walkie talkies, that wasn't happening. So maybe I can make a 35 to $40 sale by adding the figures in and I'll still be in the profit. So we'll try that out. I'm going to make this into a bigger lot, combine these into one listing. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about any interesting tips, tricks, finds, or just leave me a comment to say hi. I always appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed and have a good day.